here at the start of uh, the last day of Sea to Sky, the, uh, the mountain race, and it's just started raining, which should make it pretty interesting. Uh, we're going up to almost uh, 2,700 metres, so the visibility up the top is going to be pretty minimal. Hopefully we can make it all the way. This could be one of the biggest races of the year because all the riders are here and it could be a real tough event. Day two at the Red Bull Sea to Sky. With yesterday's qualifying rounds out of the way, now it's time for the main event. Seven rows of ten riders will go toe-to-toe -to -toe up the line. The goal? Get from the sea to the sky just as fast as you can. Shortly after the start, Great Britain's Johnny Walker takes control of the lead just like he did on Saturday's beach race. New Zealand's Chris Birch isn't far behind when all of a sudden the UK's Graham Jarvis starts sneaking his way into the picture. The first section of the route has the riders racing through a rocky riverbed. Just the perfect warm up to get the blood flowing and the arms pumping. This section is nasty. Austria's Jacob Avalevin decides to take an early swim, but he won't be the only one having troubles here. Yeah, it's riding like a chop and I've done my back. Stupid little thing, down the ledge, over the bars. Not very bright, eh? As the course begins to ascend its way up the mountain, the riders get to enjoy a nice 40 kilometer stretch of single trails in the forest. But this is no time to relax. As they go higher and higher, the riding gets harder and harder. Just wait until they get above the tree line. That is where the real fun begins. By now, Graham Jarvis has already passed Chris Birch and Johnny Walker. But Walker is a clever little rider who is fast. He keeps Jarvis honest. If the world's number one rider wants the lead, he's going to have to take it from the young lad. Graham Jarvis climbs the final meters of Mount Olympus. The Red Bull Sea to Sky is about to become his next crowning achievement. The Spaniard has been riding well, but the Kiwi is determined, looking to make a pass. Graham Jarvis has done it. He has won the 2011 Red Bull Sea to Sky. With first place determined, the next rider appears. It's Johnny Walker. The 20-year-old has impressively made it to the podium in second place. And here it is. The final spot on the podium is going down to the wire. Emerging from the fog is Chris Birch, who just beats out the Spaniard for third place. The 2011 Red Bull Sea to Sky is now complete and the celebration begins. As the sport of Extreme Enduro continues to grow, this race will surely be a favorite on the Extreme Enduro calendar. Yeah, it was just it was an enjoyable race. It's, most of it was rideable, but it was easy to get stuck as well. And it's just been a fantastic event. It's been the most enjoyable, I think. Yeah, it's been it's got a good future, I think, this event. I really enjoyed it, and yeah, I'll definitely be back next year. 